hardened steel with CBN and use a high pressure cleaning nozzle, but it just doesn't seem to do us much good. What pressure do we need in this cleaning nozzle and why aren't we getting good results out of it? People use a cleaning nozzle obviously to clear away loading and they use it more often in CBN because eh, loading can be more of a problem with CBN because the CBN wheel doesn't wear away. So loading can accumulate. Now some machines have cleaning nozzles and the biggest mistake that I see with a lot of these cleaning nozzles is that they don't use high pressure. They'll maybe hook it up to their regular cooling system, has maybe 10 bar of pressure, 150 PSI, and they say, ah, we just can't figure out why we're not getting any cleaning effect. To get a cleaning effect, you have to have a minimum of 50 bar at the nozzle, and really it's not unreasonable to have over 100 bar at the nozzle. Now, the biggest reason that people don't have as much success with cleaning nozzles as they should is because, okay, maybe they've got a nice 50 or 100 bar pump, uh, but what they do is when they design their nozzle for their cleaning nozzle, they have a giant opening. So they have an opening that's maybe oh, an inch wide and maybe, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch high. And if you do the math, you're just not going to get that 50 bar back pressure with that giant nozzle. So, here's the equation for the orifice area you need based on the flow rate if you want to get a pressure of 50 bar. So I want 50 bar. I'm going to have whatever flow rate I'm going to have coming out of my small pump. Based on that, what size orifice area should I have in square millimeters? Now, typically cleaning nozzle pumps, these little small pumps, some of them are piston driven, are low flow rate, high pressure, so a pump might be 15 liters a minute. Not a real high volume pump, just a high pressure pump. So you plug that into the equation, 15 liters a minute divided by 6.3 gives us an orifice area of 2.4 square millimeters. If we've got an opening bigger than 2.4 square millimeters, we're going to get a pressure drop. So we've got to keep it below 2.4 square millimeters. Now let's say we've got an inch of wheel width or 25 millimeters. So what height do we need to get that 2.4 square millimeters? You can do the math, 25 times the height is 2.4, and the calculation gives us a height of 0.1 millimeter, or 4 thou. 0.1 millimeter is pretty small nozzle. And the vast majority of cleaning nozzles, or at least the ones that I see that don't work well, yeah, they might be a millimeter high. So if you have a millimeter high cleaning nozzle in this case, we need a pump that's going to give us 150 liters a minute. If we have a pump that's giving us 15 liters per minute out of that one millimeter nozzle, we're going to get an enormous pressure drop and we're going to get no cleaning effect. So you've got to design a cleaning nozzle that's extremely, extremely small to give you that back pressure, to give you that 50 bar. If you use a nozzle that's bigger, don't bother you're not going to get any cleaning effect out of that cleaning nozzle.